Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to make Philly cheese steak egg rolls. I have been on a Philly cheese steak kick lately. I just recorded a Philly cheese steak pasta for you guys, and so what better to follow it up with than these delicious egg rolls. The measurements I'm going to give you make about eight egg rolls. So we are going to start by chopping half of a red bell pepper, half of a green bell pepper, and half of a red onion. Now I'm going to cook my steak. I'm using the already shaved steak that Kroger sells and I'm just going to cook it until it's brown. You can season it with whatever you want. I'm just adding salt, pepper, onion, and garlic and Worcestershire. Now you want to keep an eye on this because it cooks pretty quick. I kind of lost track of time and mine got a little dark on the bottom but that's okay. We're just going to keep it moving. It just gives it a nice little sear on the bottom, that's all. <laughs> now we're going to use that same pan and we are going to cook the peppers and onions. I am not going to cook them super long. I don't want them to get too soft because you still want your egg roll to have a little bit of a crunch. I'm just going to cook them enough so they start sweating and those flavors come out. Then I'm going to add in my steak. Now while that is keeping warm, I'm going to shred one block of pepper jack cheese and then I'm just going to mix that directly in with the meat. So you don't want to melt it completely, but you want it to melt enough that it is covering the entire mixture. Now I'm going to set this to the side and just let it cool off a little bit while I get my oil ready to fry my egg rolls. So now it is time to roll these babies up. I have my mixture here. I have some egg roll wraps. I also have a small little container of egg that we're gonna to use to seal each one. So you're just going to lay your wrap down flat, put a little bit of the mixture in the middle, and then just fold it in and roll it up. I'm definitely not the best egg roll roller, but hey, they get closed up and we're still gonna fry them and they're gonna be delicious. So I'm just using the egg wash to seal the egg roll, and then I'll just set it aside and keep doing it until I have all of my egg rolls. And now it is finally time to fry them. I have my oil over medium heat, and these things will cook super fast. It really only takes about a minute on each side before they are nice and golden brown because the inside is already cooked. So we are only trying to brown the outside and get a nice crunch on that wrap. And here is our finished product. You can really turn anything into an egg roll, but these Philly cheesesteak egg rolls are delicious. They are just so crunchy and satisfying on the outside, and on the inside, they are just flavorful and cheesy and just oh so good. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe, and thank you so much for watching Cook For Your Man.